an ugly looking bicycle helmet or a revolutionary brain health device or is it just some gimmick red light therapy fad let's find out this is the mito red light mito mind now as you can see it comes with this helmet let's call it a helmet because i guess that's what it looks like it's a plastic helmet with 256 leds inside it as well as that you get this controller that plugs into the wall and uh that's really all there is to it so what exactly is going on well those 256 leds are emitting invisible near infrared light in fact it is what well, it claimed to be 810 nanometers be sure to hang around because i'm going to test not only the wavelength but also the power output later and i'll also share my thoughts and do a whole pro and con section as well as compare this to some competitors products now there are also some red leds in here this is just to show that the unit is working because otherwise you're not really going to see anything the mito mind is designed to stimulate cellular energy production and assist with cognitive function mental clarity and focus you see the idea is you shine red light or in this case near infrared light on the head that gets into the brain and the brain does wonderful things with their light at least that's the idea behind it now we know that red light and near infrared light this amazing world of photobiomodulation we know it works there are thousands upon thousands of studies out there showing that it does indeed help with cellular function it does indeed help with lowering lowering inflammation uh improved circulation and there are also numerous studies showing that red light therapy or photobiomodulation can help with cognitive decline issues such as alzheimer's dementia tbi and all sorts of brain related issues including say, epilepsy now i have done a separate video on the science of red light therapy and brain health in fact we have some really good articles over at light therapy insiders i'll put links to everything down below uh, the video i did looked more at the science around v light now v light is to be honest a competitor to mito red light and especially the mito red light mito mind and i will be talking about their products later on in the video that research again did look at their devices but again there is a lot of research showing that if we can get this therapeutic red and near infrared light into our skulls into our brain a lot of good things can happen now i mentioned with the mito mind you get this controller let me show you exactly how that works all right so when you turn it on you'll see that you have two options program or standard go into program and there are six different presets in here uh, each one has slightly different power different frequency rating and a different duration so uh, this particular one no pulsing full power 10 minutes uh, let's try sleep see it's 50 percent power two hertz and 15 minutes duration uh, let's do one more peak focus 40 hertz six minutes full power if you don't want to do that you can go into standard mode and this is where you can change the intensity uh, you can change the time it has to be less than 30 minutes uh, and you can also change the pulse rate all the way up to 20,000 hertz which is quite remarkable when you're ready you simply hit start the device will start working and the timer counts down it's all pretty straightforward as well as that controller you get an instruction manual to be honest it's not as detailed uh, or comprehensive as I would like for a device of this price, uh, especially when we're working with the brain, but it, it covers the basics. It also comes with some sponges and some inserts. You can stick them on inside the helmet around the edges to get a, a, a better fit. As you can see, I don't have any on at the moment and uh, it, it's quite loose. Uh, so you'd want to put them on unless you have a massive head. And then it also comes with this little travel carry case yeah all quite nice so what i'm going to do is fire up the spectrometer and we're going to see yeah how much energy these leds are emitting and of course what wavelength okay so yes we can see that the peak wavelength is pretty much 810 
uh, 80 nanometers is right there. There is energy coming right through from say 788 to about 820. Uh, these are LEDs, not lasers, remember. What is interesting though is the power output. So for this particular reading, uh, we had a figure of 10 milliwatts over centimeter squared. Now I am putting this spectrometer right up hard against the case, uh, effectively mimicking where your head would be, your skull would be, uh, and we're getting a figure of 10 milliwatts. I took about six or seven readings and then the figures range from about seven through to 10. This was actually the highest I got. Uh, at one point there was a little bit of red light and that was just showing the uh, red indicator lights, but there was very little energy in this. Now, if you head over to the Mito Red Light website and I'll put links to everything down below, I should also mention uh, I'm affiliated with Mito Red Light. So if you are using my referral links or discount codes, you're gonna save, but I will get a commission. So you'll head over there and in the specifications, uh, we see the wavelength 810, yes, so that is correct. Uh, you'll see that their irradiance, they've got the solar meter irradiance, which I don't bother looking at, and then they've got their spectrometer figure of 14. Now, I only got 10. Uh, this is at full power. Um, maybe if I kept moving along or pushed it harder into the LEDs, I'd get slightly higher. Uh, so it's it's quite reliable, but um, not super accurate especially since a lot of the readings were less than that hey if you're finding this interesting can you share the love and uh hit the like button and if you want to see more videos like this hit subscribe actually if you are enjoying this video and you're new here welcome uh, but check out some of my older videos i've got a lot of videos like this um covering all sorts of things red light therapy related all right so what about price well it retails for 2195 us dollars if you use the discount link and the discount code down below, you're going to save a little bit. It'll bring the price down to about $2,100. Shipping to the USA is free and international shipping isn't too bad on this. I put in an Australian address and it was only $35 for freight. Now I should mention the price I gave you was for the helmet itself. You can spend a few hundred dollars extra and get an intranasal device. The intranasal device is using 1070 nanometer light. Uh, I, I think that's money well spent if you are going to get one of these. Spend the extra $200 and get the intranasal device. We've seen good things from intranasal devices with V-Light. Check out my reviews and interviews uh, on V-Light. What you're doing is you're shining light not only from the top with the mito mind, but you're also coming up underneath the brain with the intranasal device. And again, it's uh, using 1070 nanometer light. Now, if you're wondering, well, 1070 versus 810, which one's better? Well, V-Light have put together a pretty convincing argument showing how 810 nanometer is better for penetration and this is important because we've got to get through here skin fluid bit of fatty tissue uh, and then the skull into the brain so you want penetration here so i think mitre red light have done the right thing using 810 for the helmet here of course we know that there are cognitive brain benefits to 1060 and 1070 nanometers but from a penetration point of view 810 seems to be superior okay so what do i like and what do i not like about it uh I think I like the presets. I say think because I'm, I'm going to talk about the presets in the con section as well. Uh, you know, it's always easier just going through and selecting uh, a protocol for your particular goal. You know, do you want to use this to help you relax or prior to bed? Then use the relaxation or sleep function. Do you want to use this prior to an exam or while you're playing video games? Then yeah, use the focus uh, function. Do you want to use it while you're meditating? Well, there's a function for that as well. Of course, it does have the standard mode as well, so you can customize power, frequency, uh, and duration. I guess the frequency option will be appealing for a lot of people wanting to use the brain and training effects, like V-Light, for instance, have their V-Light Neuro Duo, which has alpha and gamma modes, two different uh, pulsing rates. Of course, with the Mito Mind, you can change the pulsing rates from no pulsing zero hertz all the way up to 20,000 hertz which is quite a broad range and yeah i do like that it's got the 810 nanometer light in the helmet with 256 leds um that that's i think that's good i say think because there are some downsides finally this is all coming from a very well established um great company when it comes to red light therapy products so if you do have problems, uh, I'm sure you're going to be well looked after. Okay, so what about the downsides? Well, there are a couple here. Uh, firstly, when we looked at 
the preset modes, a lot of the modes have the power level down at 50% or 75%. I'm not too sure why this is the case because this leads into my second downside and, and maybe the biggest downside of all. The power in this thing is not great. Uh, I tested 10 milliwatts over centimeter squared, MITRE red light state 14. Um, that's not a lot of energy, uh, especially when we're trying to get into the brain. Now, uh, if you look at the Neuro, NeuroRadiant uh, 1070 that I reviewed a year or two ago, their numbers weren't even quite at 10. Now, I know they've come out with a newer model since then, so maybe it's been improved. It doesn't surprise me that the numbers are quite low because this is all plastic. There's no fans, there's no heat sinks. It's just some LED chips in plastic. So I didn't expect amazing things, but when you're paying two thousand odd dollars for a device that's meant to help with your brain i don't know it, it does make you wonder so to put this in perspective i've done videos testing the wavelength output in the sun uh, on a summer's day and on a summer's day here in new zealand at midday between 800 and 870 nanometer near infrared light you're getting 11 milliwatts over centimeter squared so this is putting out a range between say 780 to what was it 840 and we were only getting a total of 10 milliwatts. Why not just go outside? You're gonna get maybe more power than this, plus you're gonna get all the other benefits of being outside. Now, of course, if you can't get outside uh, and you wanna replicate what the sun is doing, then yeah, sure, then this, this could help. Uh, of course, it also has the pulsing features, which we can't do with the sun, so there's benefit there, but from an irradiance point of view, I mean, it's it's nothing really special. So again, why do those preset modes drop the power back even more? And then it makes me wonder, well, how much thought has gone into this? Have they just picked some numbers out of the air and, and said, here we go, save it as a preset? And maybe that is the case. Uh, I remember Mito Red Light are not a medical company. They're not a brain specialist company. This is their first uh, brain product, I guess. Yeah. It does make you wonder. Next, the other issue I have with this product is the bulkiness, the thick, chunky cables, the old school power plugs. Even the uh, controller itself is very bulky. The screen is low resolution. It seems like 20 years old, right? Now it works, it functions the way it's meant to work. So that's fine, but I just feel like it could be done a lot nicer. Uh, like, I mean, you could have the, the the controller built in to the unit itself or maybe have it wireless or do it through the app for instance even the power plugs like we have this cord going to the controller then it splits off then it goes to a power bank which then plugs into another plug i feel like just one simple usb-c plug would be a lot nicer again we're paying two thousand odd dollars for this so it's big money so overall what are my thoughts well you know what let me answer it this way will i use this i can tell you no i will not be using this um it's just clumsy it's it's just bulky it's just awkward to use it's just cables everywhere all that stuff and it's not doing anything super special again i can go outside for 20 minutes take my cap off and um get a similar amount of energy but also i am lucky that i can get outside and i don't have any declining brain health issues at least that i'm aware of so maybe there would be someone who does like the idea of popping this on while they're at the desk or stuck inside on a gray winter's deck maybe but then this leads me to competitors products because it's always important to shop around and see what all your options are now there are two obvious competitors here what i'm actually going to do is a full deep dive video comparing these three products so be sure to subscribe to do that that will be out sometime probably in 2025 because i know these companies are releasing new versions of their products so but let me do a bit of a rundown now based on what i know about these products so first up we have the neuronic neuroradiant 1070 now when i tested this again it wasn't even putting out the same amount of power as this they use 1070 instead of 810 so you've got potential penetration issues there this may be superior otherwise it looks very similar similar design comes with this bulky controller however their controller is a lot more polished 
more time has gone into the design and it also has a few more settings and advanced options with their whole setup price wise it's actually even more expensive than the mito mind uh, but it does come with a consultation and they do have a full um, support team that you can tap into and you can do brain scans and you know there, there's more they are more specialized with photobiomodulation and brain health so that's one option and i've done a full review on their older version uh, i will do a review on the new one very soon the other option is v light now i've also done reviews with v light i've interviewed the founders just like i have with neuronic and uh, mito red light this company specializes in photobiomodulation and brain health but they've been around for much longer than neuronic and they have a lot more products and they also have a lot of published peer-reviewed published studies using their products pretty much uh, we know that their products work and they do help with an assortment of brain conditions we've done videos and articles again over at light therapy insiders videos are all down below uh, so check them out to take a real deep dive now they've got quite a broad range of products i'm going to compare this to the v light neuro duo this is because i've used it in the past so that particular unit retails for about two thousand four hundred dollars a little bit more expensive than this however you're getting a lot more power from that device it's 10 times more powerful than this and it's also emitting a 10 nanometer light now you can only pulse it in two frequencies i think there's 10 hertz and 40 hertz you don't have the full customization um but it's packing a big punch i mean it's more than what you're getting from the sun the downside though you're only getting i think six led so you're not getting the full coverage but does it really matter because you're getting good penetration good irradiance look if i was struggling with early onset alzheimer's or something like that i would be going to v light because they have the background they have the science they have a product that has been shown to work uh, they have a very good support team as well and it's similar sort of price you can actually go for their pro version uh, which has more features including the ability to customized pulsing rates as well remember i'm going to take a deeper dive comparing these products in time uh, but i just wanted to give you a general overview now the last thing i need to compare this to is another product from mito red light and this is the mito red light mito pro x 300 now, this is actually a tabletop red light therapy device now what's interesting about this is about 20 percent of the power 20 percent of the leds are emitting 810 but you also get an 830 850 and some red light in there as well from a power point of view it was putting out about 50 or 60 milliwatts at six inches not right at the source size wise it's big enough to treat the face now i'm including this in here because if the idea is to get 810 nanometer light into the brain then you have to consider a panel right like a red light therapy panel uh sure it's not going to be molded to the head and you can't like work i don't know walk around with it i don't know if you would with this but it, it's a different way of using it but the upside here is this particular panel is only about 500 bucks maybe less comes with a nice stand you can use it for other areas of the body as well like that sore shoulder or the sunburn on your back for instance so you could actually turn the red light off on that panel just leave the near infrared light running and um, put your head right up against that panel and you're going to get more 810 nanometer light than you would from this now that panel also has some pulsing options um and it's so much cheaper right so much cheaper now if you just want 810 then you could check out light path led but they do some panels with a lot of 810 nanometers in it and you can pulse that as well um so yeah i mean i don't know you can see why i'm i'm not the greatest fan of this right which is um which is a shame what do you think check out this video next i'm sure you'll love it see you over there